we continue to talk about our underwater target shooting. We have already reviewed both historical and modern models of underwater weapons and even tested them in the water. There are competitions ahead. For the first time on TV, an underwater target shooting competition, Man in Arms program presenter against the Pacific Cup winner. It was my first time. I felt that I couldn't find a stable position, couldn't find a standard position. We will shoot from both old and new types of underwater weapons, according to both old and new rules, and we will find out what the fundamental differences are between them. All this and more right now on our unique program, Man in Arms. For the competition, we set a weighted frame under the water onto which we attach the targets. First, we will shoot according to the old rules, and therefore use a green target with circles. This was standard until 1991. Since the mark is quite large here, we made another smaller circle with a diameter of 0.7 inch in the center. This time, the shooters will not use a suction cup attached to the bottom because it isn't included in the old rules. The first version of the rules required that the shooter be in limbo, a state of complete weightlessness. You weren't allowed to touch either the bottom nor any supports and so on. It was necessary to hang, hang in a water column to maintain a stationary position. This is quite difficult, although it may seem at first glance to be very simple. Anastasia will try first. She will shoot from a pneumatic gun that is old-fashioned and unfamiliar to her. She saw this weapon for the first time in her life while filming this program. Moreover, she has never been able to shoot at such a target before, so we are almost on equal footing. Well, training at our Institute of Physical Education begins with shooting automatic gun in the gym. After that is when we actually go to the pool. According to the old rules, the distance to the target should be at least 4.3 yards, but we allow ourselves to make it a bit smaller. In addition, the shooter had to make 10 record shots at the competitions. We will make only one. In all other respects, we won't change the rules. The shooter charges his gun underwater, dives, goes to the line, takes aim and shoots. And it's the mark. It was my first time. I felt that I couldn't find a stable position, couldn't find a standard position to adopt and take aim with accuracy. That is, while you swim, hover, you have to Again, it's difficult to calculate where the shooting range really is. You can miss by going out on it, and then, of course, your attempt does not count when it's a part of a competition. Now, it's my turn. I chose a spear gun as a weapon. I broke the rules a little when I accidentally crossed the shooting range. Shot. Also, I hit a mark, but at competitions, I would be disqualified for crossing the range. Now, let's see how the quality of shooting will change if we use the stop. Let's start with Anastasia. And her harpoon hits the target literally a few millimeters from the 15 points mark. Taking into account that the weapon is new to her, the stop improved her result. The weapon isn't maneuverable. That is, it was hard for me to swim with it, go to the line. On the other hand, it is very accurate. Of course, you need to try shooting any weapon before you can understand how it really fires. Now it's my turn.
And I did no worse. I think the presenter shot well. Since, uh, since probably he often deals with ground weapons, as far as I understand at least, and he has that skill to help him in this situation. Now we will change weapons. I will shoot a gun that looks like a spaceship and Anastasia will shoot her usual spear gun. Obviously, Anastasia knows this weapon much better. The first shot she made sent the harpoon exactly in a black circle. Despite the inconvenience because of the agility of this unusual gun, I managed to reach the line and take aim. Shoot! And the harpoon goes to nine. Not bad at all. Now we will trade the old gun in for a modern one and see how difficult it will be for us to hit the target. This is divided into two parts, each of which has five record areas. There are 10 times less than in the previous target. This time, I will shoot first. I go to the line. Indeed, it is more difficult to take aim. Shoot. Hit the lower circle of the central target. Good results for a first time. But Anastasia made a shot exactly into the black center circle of the middle target. And this result is better than mine. In modern underwater target shooting, there is such a discipline as the biathlon. It's necessary to have a good breath hold, a stable psyche so as not to be nervous and focus only on the exercise and so as to be in good physical shape in order to cover the distance and also shoot confidently. Now we will check what my lung capacity is. I dive, swim a few feet, take aim, shoot, and I hit the upper left corner of the middle target. Then, without coming to the surface, I return. Competitions, you have to do it several times. That is really difficult. I've held my breath up to a maximum of three and a half minutes when I actively trained there three times a week. Now it's only about a minute and a half. Anastasia is doing much better and she almost hits the mark. I really liked everything. It's a great pool and a very beautiful view underwater, very beautiful color, very exciting. It was very exciting to try a new weapon, a new pneumatic gun. I've never fired it before and perhaps I would never have fired it if not for your program.